All right, while I'm here, let's move on to something else. I uh, talked about my son Grayson the other day. Now we'll talk about Bennett. You know, Bennett, he came and he told me one day that he took some quarters out of a bowl. And I was like, well, Bennett, you can't take quarters out of a bowl. And I said, you know, if somebody comes into the house and takes a dollar off the table, they might as well go up in daddy's wallet and take $500. Well, months ago, I did an open records request about the spending of this body right here. All right, I did it from the 1st of January, 2018 until the date of the request. And what did I find? I found that council members are spending public dollars on themselves. And so I would ask that anybody that would like to do an open records request do one from January 1st, 2018 and see, make sure that you get the receipts and make sure that they give you all the receipts and not just part of the receipts. Also employ the mayor and the vice mayor, the mayor's not here, but uh, to open an internal investigation into the use of taxpayer funds for personal use by members of this city council. And I also ask that state auditors ask for an external audit of funds spent by this city council. Because it was very disappointing to me to see some of the things that some of you were spending money on. <clears throat> Hats off, David Clover, Richard Maloney, putting your money back into the neighborhoods. Um, hats off to Fred Brown. It's obvious you're a CPA because your numbers were meticulous. So I think we can do better. I think we can be more transparent. Um, it just wasn't, it doesn't look good. You know, you can't spend money on yourself. These, this money is supposed to go to neighborhoods. This money is not to be spent on your own person. And you guys know that. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I believe we have nobody else signed up at this time. Bring us. That my colleagues have something else probably they've got to go to. But, you know, um, there's not too many times when you have someone stand before you and um, disrespect you. And I don't normally answer or respond to someone that speaks at the podium. But I feel the need to say something because my integrity is everything to me not only on this council, as a body on this council, but personally. And for someone to stand before me and everybody else that is watching or that everybody watches in the future and to incite that I have done anything illegal, wrong, or anything else in my 35 years with this city insults my integrity. And I will not let it go without saying something. I'm not running for re-election, and I can, I mean, you know, even if I was running for a re-election, I would say something. It is not fair that someone chooses to stand before this body and insult all of us, and that is not right. And I just say for the record that this body of council does a really good job, and you know what? We might not all be perfect, but I tell you what, we we hold the city up and we do a good job and we try to represent our constituents in this community and I think we do a really fine job and I am proud to work with every one of my colleagues. So I just hope that whoever's still listening to this, that you will take into consideration that anybody can get at this podium and say whatever they want to do and we typically never respond. Tonight, that's not happening, not on my dime. My integrity is everything to me, and I will not stand for that. So you can make what you want of me, but I stand by my word, and I stand by my integrity. I'm a moral person, and nobody is going to stand and accuse me of anything that I have done wrong in my years of service at this city. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, there anybody else for council announcements? Councilmember Ellinger, if you wouldn't mind taking the chair. I don't see. Councilman, <laughs> you just were handy. Councilman Maloney, if you wouldn't mind taking the chair. Um, I also normally would not take a moment to respond, but um, 
I agree with Council Member Lamb. Um, to stand at the podium and with a broad brush make a statement about unspecified council members. It's really unfair to us. It's unfair to the public. It puts a, a suspicion out there that's not, so far as I know, backed by anything substantial. Um, as the chair, I couldn't figure out whether I should basically cite the rules that we have about the kind of comment we could take. As the chair, I couldn't figure out whether I should basically cite the rules that we have about the kind of comment we could take. I did not do that, but I do want to add my comment to Councilmember Lambs. I think that was inappropriate, and uh, I hope, I hope public, uh, the public is still watching some of this and they'll understand. So thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Seeing none, um, we had one person come in.